New Year's celebration. New Year's celebration? Mm -hmm. um, I went to visit my, my uh, husband's family at Lyon. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, Lyon. Yeah, east. How far away? Uh, yeah, about two, two and a half hours. Oh, drive. Yeah. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. <laughs> Has it, did anybody else go away for Chinese New Year? Did you stay here? No? This is my, uh, this is my, my husband's family. You went to your husband's family? Yes. Here in Bangkok? Oh, yeah. Mm. It's long. Well, you can really read down to here, yeah. And then 
if anybody has any trouble, they have to ask uh, Shop or to read it again. Or okay. It was a Sunday, says my uncle. The soldier, the soldier arrived in his boat in the early afternoon when everything was quiet. He lowered his echo a few meters for the shore. As usual, and walked up the sand to the houses. He never pulled his boat up on to the beach. It was a heavy boat and he didn't want to break the engine. He always left it in about one meter of water. That day he came first to the cafe. He sat and talked with me and some of the men. We all sat outside the cafe and listened to his stories. Then, later in the afternoon, he went to Rodrigo's shop and bought a few things. He had a big can of paraffin in the boat for Rodrigo's new lamp. I saw him give it to him. The soldier, the soldier and Rodrigo sat and talked and drank coffee outside the shop for about an hour. When it got dark, he went with Rodrigo into the house behind the shop. I could see the bright light from the lamp through the window. Then the soldier had a meal with Rodrigo. After the meal, he came back to the cafe and sat with me and some of the fishermen. It was very dark and we sat inside. The soldier seemed very happy. He told us a lot of funny stories about his life as a soldier. Did everybody understand? Yeah, good. Um, just want to add, uh, yeah. He had a big can of paraffin in the bowl for Rodrigo's new lamp. Do you know what a big can of paraffin is? It's, like oh. it. okay. it's oil, oil for the lamp, paraffin, and it's um, can be it's oil, oil, yeah, for a lamp. It can be dangerous. It can, you know, can explode. So paraffin. He had a big can of paraffin. It's called paraffin oil. Yeah, for, for lighting a lamp. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. But his life as a soldier. Yeah. 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 We were surprised to see him because Rafael, Rafael didn't spend a lot of time at at the cafe and he never came into the cafe when the soldier was there. That right, he was wearing his best clothes. Usually he wore well, Usually he wore his old clothes. Even in the cafe he was wearing his best Short and and trousers. His his face and hands were very clean, and his hair was still wet, wet and and shiny, shiny from watching. I asked myself. Uh, is he trying to show the soldier that he is not just a horse, a horse, 
dark eyes and say again. But I put another cassette in the machine. Then Raphael smiled, closed his eyes, and continued dancing. Very good. So everybody follow that one? Mm -hmm. At midnight, all the other men went off to bed. Lafayette was still there, still dancing. I was the poor boy until he saw him. Then I switched off the machine. I said goodnight to him and sent him home to bed. Then the next morning, before daylight, we heard shouting and crying from, from what we called house. The news went around the village. Like fine, and that was near. A little sent all his family and friends out to look for her. They looked along every road, big and small. They looked in the fields and along the beach, in the docks, everywhere. Later, Raphael came out of his house with his mother. I told them about Anita, and they were very really surprised. We all went, we all were. Raphael went to his boat immediately. He planned to sail along the coast and look for me. He sailed away to the west. I watched him until I couldn't see him. He sailed round the lost at the end of the village. He was looking at it. I left as he went. Next time I saw him, he was mad. Very good. So did we follow that section? Would we follow that? Um, Yeah, the news went around the village like fire. So, you know how fast a fire can spread? So this is, um, uh, we call it a simile. It went around the village like fire. Uh, so it went quickly, the news about Anita missing. Anita was missing. They weren't able to find her. Um, so, do you want to continue, um, shot everybody in the village? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody in the village? Everybody in the village was out looking for Anita that morning. But nobody found her. Then, Santiago couldn't find his own donkey. He came to Rodrigo's shop. He was shouting that Anita took it. Rodrigo was very angry. He wanted to hit San Diego and knock him down. I thought he wanted to kill the old man. Some friends of San Diego took him away. After that, he said nothing more about the donkey. Then early in the afternoon, some of the bitter men found Raphael. He was about to kill in the west of the village, in a quiet place near the high rocks. His boat wasn't far from the shore, and Raphael was lying in the bottom of it. He was great and dirty. He was looking up at the sky and laughing. And he was completely mad. They bought, they bought him and they brought back to the village. His mother and I watched him and gave him some water. We put him to bed, but he lay and made noise, noises all night. He screamed and fought. He was like a mad animal. <laughs> so, poor Rodrigo, poor uh, Raphael. Um,
and sat by his boat. He looked at the sea all day and said nothing. We waited. Day after day, we gave him food and drink. We watched him when we could. But he was like a small child. We waited for him to get better, but he never did. And you never found, and you never found out what made him mad. I asked my uncle. He never speaks, only about the wind. You know everything that I know now. He said, when we were watching the poor boy. We found a boring on a fishing line round his neck. When we tried to take it, take it off, he screamed. So we left it there. All this year later, he still, he still wear it round his neck. He kept six months of his life to buy that ring. His parents for Anita, which she never said, never had. Very good. Okay. Um, I think that is that enough reading for today. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what shall we continue with? Teacher, what reading of fishing line? Fishing line. Fishing line. Fishing line. Yeah. Uh, the line that you catch the fish oh, with, you know. Yeah. So it's um, uh, made from, what is it made from? Plastic. No. Yeah, it, we, call it, we call it cat gut. Uh, I don't know, it's some kind of plastic. Mm -hmm. But with the name, we call it, the, what the fishing line. Um, we call it cat gut. Clear plastic, yeah? Clear clear plastic line. So it I don't know how what the origin of this is, but that's what we call it, right? the material that we make. Yeah, so I saw him, I saw her, yeah. 
Not I saw him get no no no. I saw him give or give and yeah, I saw him give. I saw him stand. I saw him lie down. I saw him yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I mean uh, the word less. I I heard someone say uh, bestest friend. Best of friends, yeah. Bestest. Bestest. Uh, best and then add uh, E S T. No, never. Yeah. <laughs> no, never. He, uh, he is a bestest friend of mine. <laughs> so your question is, your question is, is there ever bestest? Yeah. No. Best is never, <laughs> never. So it's the best, is the superlative, and the worst. Okay, but never bestest. <laughs> like maybe a little child would say bestest. Yeah, maybe. you're my bestest friend. <laughs> and that's a little child, but no, that's 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 not correct. Uh, yeah. I think it's maybe it's for um, teenager work, teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not. I don't, I didn't. Don't even hear teenagers say it. Uh, no, uh, honestly, I, I I saw this word. Really? Yeah, they, they want to express. Uh, maybe they really feel. Yeah, I, I can understand somebody using it, but um, it it it's not it, like they don't even use it. Um, I could, see, I could hear, I could understand a teenager maybe, but just to another teenager. Uh, not usually, they don't usually use that, no. Um, any, other, any other words, any other problems? That's just, no. Uh, okay. Um, Teacher, if you say cut, cut, everybody, everybody know that is fishing line or another meaning. Do you have another meaning of this? Fishing line? Yes, cut, cut. Cut, cut. cut, cut. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know the origin of that word, uh, but I know... Because that, we can use cut, cut with another thing, not only fishing line. Uh, no, I the think it's only, only with fishing line. I've only heard it. In reference to fishing line, in 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 Mao, when in Aya, in 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 cut 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 olive oil fishing line. Uh, yes, I've never heard it any used any other way. Only for for fishing line. Yeah. In the in the Hmm. Cut cut. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've only ever heard it used for fishing line, but I have used it myself for fixing things. Yes. Like for example, if my yes. chain... Yes. Yes. Because yes. it's not only fishing line, it's, it's around your neck also, around your hand. And yes, yes. Can put but but um, I I have never heard it... With, like How to call it if you... you if you I want to buy it, if I want to buy it. Yeah. I go to, I have to go... To a special store and say I want to buy catgut. Catgut, yeah. There's a roll. Yeah, there's a roll. Yeah. Let it go a bit and leave it like. Go a bit But yeah, I I I would use it. I have used because it. That that time that we go to get to the Chinese market and if I want to buy a catgut. Yeah. Yes, it's the same. Can, we can say that. Well, I think maybe they would call it something else. Maybe <laughs> they would call it transparent thread.
uh, yeah, so they, I think if you were to buy it in the store where they sell fabric or those accessories, mm -hmm. you would call it transparent, transparent thread. Mm -hmm. Transparent thread. Oh, 